But those of us who choose to receive Christ, we're redeemed. To be redeemed means we're delivered from sin. With that comes the opportunity to help others receive redemption. This is not specific to evangelism. Sometimes our calling to our God-given duties are tied to our vocation. So what happens when God calls us to a specific vocation and we run from it? My guest today, Keith Freeman, is here to tell you all about it. I'm Claudia Parker, and 5 Minutes of Faith starts now. Hi, I'm Keith Freeman, father, husband, public servant, and entrepreneur, and I'm here on 5 Minutes of Faith with Claudia Parker. Recently, my wife and I, um, we started a few businesses, um, a few retail stores. We had sort of hit some challenges, some financial challenges. And um, I decided to walk away um, from a store that we created together, and I decided to go into an, another direction and start a hedge fund, uh, which was pretty cool because uh, I got to work with one of my friends. I probably got to get out of my wife's way because I was in the store with her all the time, probably bugging the heck out of her. And me and my buddy, we get together, we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna start this hedge fund. We start putting money together. We start filling out all the paperwork. We start talking to banks and Initially, everything was just going great, and we were just like, go, 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 go. We had people that were interested, and then all of a sudden, the brakes just hit. My wife and I, we had put sort of everything that we had into our businesses, and so there wasn't very much left to sort of fall back on and say, hey, listen, um, you know, what are we gonna do? Um, we, we had no idea, we had no clue. Um, and I had just come out, I had just stopped um, working as a public servant. I had worked for years uh, in a few municipalities, and I had even told a bunch of my friends that I would never go back to it, uh, ever. The experience was just way too much. And so I had become like primary daddy daycare. I have a son, he'll be three in a month, and I have a seven-year-old. So trying to manage those two little personalities, um, my daughter and my son, it was just crazy. One day, I'm sitting in the house, and I had gotten a call from the same person. And he had said, Keith, you gotta come work in this town. And I'm like, I'll never work in that town. Then his wife called, because his wife was the managing attorney for one of the cities. As a matter of fact, a couple of the cities. She was like, Keith, can you just think about it? No, I'm not thinking about it. I was just being stubborn. I was purposely trying to ruin God's purpose for me. And I knew I was. So I got a phone call, not from you know a congressperson, not from another elected official, I got a phone call from uh, a firefighter. And he said, hey, listen, Keith, if you don't mind, uh, can you take like 10 minutes? Just, you know, we can meet wherever you want to, just sit down with me. But something said, if I don't, if I don't pay attention and I don't listen, then I'm gonna keep going this path. So I go meet this guy at his firehouse and he tells me this incredible story about how God blessed him. You know, um, he was a public servant for years. He did a couple wrong things and it just led him in the wrong direction. But, you know, God is faithful. And he had overcome a zillion obstacles to become mayor of one of the largest municipalities in the south suburbs of Chicago. Before I left, what he told me was, is that you can try to run away from your purpose, but no matter where you go, God's gonna put you there. And I believe that you are supposed to be a public servant. You're supposed to serve people. You're the person that God put here for those things. Um, and so I still wasn't trying to hear it. I'm being honest with you. I was like, yeah, I'm straight. I hear you. Um, I didn't tell him to kick rocks, but in the car I was thinking kick rocks. I really was. I'm sitting at home the very next day. The very next day, it couldn't have been, you know, like 24, it wasn't even 24 hours. So the next morning, me and my son, again, I'm playing daddy daycare. My son and I, we get down and we pray, and I'm like, God, if whatever you want me to do, like, I'll do it. And like right then, I got a phone call from my new boss, uh, who was really, really dope. Like, I just couldn't mess with God's will. I just couldn't mess with his purpose for my life. He gave me everything I wanted for compensation. He gave me everything I wanted for benefits. And ever since then, um, there has been a roller coaster of great things that have happened to me, my wife, uh, my boss, and has just taken me to different places and opened doors for me that I would never, ever be able to open for myself. So I may be stubborn, but I understand uh, how much God has blessed me and my family. 
uh, my friends, and I am extremely grateful for everything he's done. Every day now, um, I go through the prayer of Jabez, um, my wife makes me read it, and I believe in purpose. And I believe that God sometimes will not allow for you uh, to avoid your purpose, even if you try to sabotage it yourself.